So we've gotten the official trailer for GTA 6, a game literally a decade in the making. And there have been so many speculations, so many rumors, so many leaks as well. Even the trailer was leaked before the official trailer got released today. They literally had to release it 13 hours earlier because of the leak. So I'm here in this video to talk about the trailer and break it down as far as the trailer presents itself and reveals some of the things that we are going to experience, the characters, and of course, some of the rumors back in it. And looking at the trailer, it looks like some of the you know reports that came out earlier appear to be true so the trailer starts off with a beautiful shot and we pan out to a prison and this is where we meet our first female protagonist in the gta game sure the older the original game had female protagonists but this is the first time we are having one in an open world game since gta actually went to open world and 3d she's going to be the first of two protagonists who we'll talk about later but she goes by the name lucia as we can see she's in prison either she's going in or now going out but from the dialogue it seems like this is not her first time and the way they open up this game this trailer and introduce this character it, it feels like a movie and that's something interesting when you think about how this differs from each trailer of the gta games obviously it's going to differ it's a new game but this is a different tonal shift when you compare it to the previous gta games the other gta games trailers just showed how you know the city the pleasant you know places that you can go the things you can do the characters and somehow the story which is going to take place but this this feels like it's a much more denser intimate story maybe because they are two characters who are not just friends and of course we're going to get the crazy stuff but th this starts off with a story basically setting up the crazy cinematic masterpiece that we are going to get involved in and then we pan out to the city the beaches filled with different varieties of people amazing graphics by the way which i know in the final game we are going to at least get something close to this and this basically confirms or backs up the rumors that we are going to be we're going to play in the modern version of vice city which is completely amazing when you look at the old vice city games the neon lights the beaches the nightclubs incredible and to even hammer it home they show the vice city in the whole banner should i say logo or whatever the trailer also shows the city life the lavish lifestyle people having fun the beautiful city there's also some nightclub scenes in there strippers twerking all this filthy stuff you can do in there which makes me think that there's not just going to be one nightclub that we you can go to unlike you know <laughs> the gta 5 perhaps even get a job there and then we get to one major part i think one major mechanic that is going to feature heavily in the game and that is social media just like gta 5 had a phone where you could go to different websites even purchase certain things call some people and receive messages and all that but gta 6 is going to take it to a whole different level it looks like there's going to be a version of maybe instagram or tiktok just looking at how it looks the format and it all we see a gorgeous woman posing kind of looks like the female protagonist we also see a yacht with a bunch of ladies having fun dancing there's a bunch of guys in the midst but there's there's one older guy on the side looking at the text it looks like he, he's their sugar daddy and that's not the only thing that's wild out there we see a crocodile being captured the next shot is something that some gamers come into gta 4 and that is the sex and we see a really endowed woman having fun and twerking like there's no tomorrow and on top of a freaking moving car we are also showing a street party, different muscle cars, beautiful endowed ladies having fun. It looks like they are live on their social media platform. The Sims are going crazy. <laughs> Figures, more crocodiles, different wild antics, just weird, crazy GTA stuff. Police raids, it looks like they are revamping the whole system. You can perhaps call 911, call the cops on somebody. There's also outside the city, it looks like a truck festival with guys and a lady drenched in mud a psycho carrying more nightclub antics and judging from all these shots and all these moments captured on social media as i said social media is going to play a crucial and big part in the game it's going to be a whole mechanic on its own from the format in the ui it looks like you may be able to build a social media presence follow people or follow people like things see different videos of people who have also posted there perhaps even go live from certain parts of the trailer that we showed so it's 
is essentially a bigger better version of what we got in gta 5 and i may be stretching it a bit but you may even be able to change your phone now continuing with the trailer we see our male companion who's also going to be playable and we see lucia holding a stack of cash and they are driving away it looks like they just robbed the place and they are on a run from a police as another shot from the trailer actually confirms this this all backs the rumors of how this game is going to be essentially like a bonnie and clyde type of thing situation where you know you have these two protagonists who are in love in a relationship and it's essentially them against the whole world and you're going to play as both of them as they carve out their own story we see the next shots of what looks like a motorcycle gang and from different you know moments that we've seen in the trailer it looks like we're going to have different factions or gangs that we can go to in the trailer shows some examples like the street racers the trackers the cartel and here the bikers and there may be even different factions that they have not shown where you may join or do some jobs for them for money of course the trailer then shows our protagonists we see an intimate moment with them on a bed the word trust is thrown in the room if this doesn't confirm that they are lovers i don't know <laughs> which shot will but essentially they are bonnie and clyde and the final shot of the trailer shows them bursting into a shop both holding pistols ready to do their business then we see the logo and it's releasing 2025 like damn <laughs> It's in next two years. I mean, the year is basically ended. So maybe a year and a half. And it's releasing on PS5 and Xbox Series X. No mention of PC yet. I mean, that's what they did for GTA 5. Red Dead Redemption 2 also had the same thing. They released it a year after releasing on the consoles. Don't know why they do this. But um, sorry, PC fans. But anyway, the trailer essentially shows that this game is going to be pretty as hell. It shows that we are in Vice City, a modern day version. And just from the little that we've seen, from this first trailer it looks like there's a lot that we're going to be able to do nightclubs yeah we had that in the last game but we're going to get more places that we can visit different variations there's going to be different cliques and gangs that we'll be able to maybe join or maybe have a faction of our own there's going to be a big social media mechanic where we'll get to follow people watch their videos perhaps record our own makes sense since the last game we could take our pictures and that was it but in this we may be able to post our own own pictures and videos game followers and one thing that people also complain about the last game we may be able to also change our phones there's a lot of twerking and a lot of beautiful ladies who are also well endowed it looks like gta 6 is up in the sex meter but the thing is now that we have you know two protagonists who are actually in a relationship are you going to be able to do those stuff like have sex go to strip clubs and get those lap dances or are they going to bake in that me coffee mechanic type of thing that they did in san andreas well i guess we'll wait and see we have our bonnie and clyde protagonist the female being lucia the male is going to be called jason from different reports who have also been right about this trailer the trailer also shows a massive open world that we are going to be able to traverse from the beautiful cities to the beaches to the marsh area to some local towns this game is definitely going to be bigger than the last one as was expected this is only the first trailer and people are already online saying game of the year and since this is the first trailer we're going to get more more games play trailers more reviews about some of the mechanics and things so anyways do let me know in the comments below what you thought of this trailer there may be another video where i do a deeper dive into the trailer and some of the easter eggs that may have been scattered throughout so please subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss that video and more and also leave a like for the video it helps the channel out now as always nerdy cga see you guys in the next one